it's my go-to daily trainer at the moment and I honestly can't see any other shoe um, taking that spot at the moment. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I hope your training is going well. I'm Ben and this is my channel Ben is Running and today I'm going to be giving you my 500 mile review of the Hocker Mac 4 from uh, on Hocker One One. Um, so yeah, this is the shoe here. I purchased this shoe in March 2021. It's now July when I'm filming this. So I've had this shoe for four months now. Um, and it's been my go-to daily trainer. So I'm currently training for a 50 kilometer ultra marathon called the Stow Valley Path 50K, um, which is now in 22 days time. So I've been putting in lots of miles um, recently. I did 100 miles last week, which is my first ever 100 mile week or 161 kilometers. So this year I've been lucky enough to try out some cool shoes from New Balance, the Rebel V2, I've also tried the Nike Invincible um, and I've also tried the Asics Nova Blast 2. But none of these shoes have sort of stuck with me as a daily trainer shoe like the Hocker Mac 4. Um, so in today's video I'm going to go over a quick little um, recap on the specifications of this shoe. Then I'm going to explain how I've been using this shoe um, for my runs, what types of runs, what sort of distance. Um, and that sort of thing. And then finally, I'm gonna go over with why this shoe has been so successful for me, um, and yeah, and why I've, I've chosen to use this shoe above any other daily trainer for throughout my runs in 2021. Okay, so some quick specs on the Hocker Mac 4. This shoe was released in March uh, 2021, so I've had it for four months, and I've run uh, 885 kilometers, which is over 500 miles now in this shoe. Um, it's got a five millimeter drop from heel to toe. I believe 29 millimeter stack height in the heel, um, dropping down to 22 millimeters in the forefoot. And for me around that five mil mark is exactly where I want my daily training shoes to be. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the specifications. It's a very, very lightweight shoe coming in at 223 grams in my size, which is a UK size eight. Um, so it's very, very lightweight shoe. Only other features to mention, it's got a fully gusseted tongue, so it's attached to the upper, and we've got this Pro Fly midsole from, from Hocker, which I've also really got on well with. Okay, so how have I used this shoe, having run that 500 mile mark? Um, so some runs to note, probably my longest run in this shoe has been around 30 kilometers. Um, I did a video where I took this shoe um, for 30k run at around about 80% of my 10k race pace. I'll leave a link to the video up there, you can go check that out if you want. And that was the longest run I've done in this shoe. And the shortest run I've done is probably about a 5k tempo effort. Um, I think I've broken 17 minutes for 5k in this shoe. Um, so yeah, it's a very versatile shoe, you can use it for any sort of distance I've found um, and that's how I've used it in my shoe rotation. Um, I mainly used it for my easy runs and a few tempo efforts, um, so around about 430 kilometer pace is where it feels comfortable for me, um, up to around 4 minutes per kilometer, which is my easy to steady run pace. I've even used this shoe in the gym. Um, if I can't run outside due to the weather, so it's chucking down the rain, I like to run on a treadmill. Um, and I've been doing all my treadmill runs in this shoe because it's just super, super comfortable. Um, so yeah, I've done two hours on the treadmill in this shoe, had absolutely no problems. And it's also been my race day warm up shoe. Um, so I've been racing in the Nike Vapor Flies, but before I, warm, before I race, um, I like to do my warm up strides and, and uh, drills and stuff in the Hocker Mac 4 just because of its comfort really. So the first point is its comfort. This is definitely the most comfortable shoe I own in terms of um, how it fits on your foot. It fits like a glove. Um, the way the lacing systems work, system works with this lockdown here, you can get a really nice secure fit. Um, the upper isn't very stretchy, but it still remains quite breathable. So once you've got that lockdown, um, it's really good. 
You've got a lovely bit of uh, padding around this heel tab here and this extended heel tab at the back um, has been really comfortable for my Achilles. Um, so yeah, biggest factor um, about this shoe that I've enjoyed the most is the, is the comfort. Um, you can't fault it really. It fits absolutely perfectly for me. The second thing I've liked about this shoe is how lightweight it is. So only 223 grams in my size eight. Um, but despite it being light, it's also well cushioned. So you've got that 29 millimeters of stack height, um, which for a daily shoe is great because it protects your legs, especially if you're someone who does a lot of miles like I do. Um, you need that little bit of EVA foam to, to protect your legs from stuff like shin splints. Third point is it's a neutral running shoe but it remains stable. So I've tried a few shoes out recently, such as the Rebel uh, V2 from New Balance, which is also a new uh, neutral running shoe, which has lacked some of the stability. Whereas the Hocker is actually quite a, um, a stable shoe in the fact that it doesn't really rotate much when you land on it. It's actually quite firm, even when you push it like that. Um, so when you're towing off, it remains quite stable. It's also got a wide landing platform, um, which I found um, has given it a really nice ride. So my fourth point is how this shoe has performed on the runs itself. So this foam here has been really, really nice. It's definitely the perfect balance between um, that cushion that you're used to from Hocker. It's probably not as cushioned as the shoes such as the Clifton or the Bondi that you're typically, um, if you run in Hocker shoes, you'll, you'll know how soft those foams can be. Whereas this is a little firmer, especially for a Hocker shoe. Um, but it's got a perfect balance between that that soft um, hocker feel, but also has the responsive um, toe off. So yeah, it's worked really well for my easy runs and also some tempo work. And finally, my fifth point of why I've enjoyed this shoe so much is how versatile it is. Um, I'm comfortable running um, anything up to 30K in this shoe um, with no problems at all. I'm even happy to do my sessions in this shoe. If I have to, like it's responsive, it's light, um, it fits perfectly, I have no problems with it. So yeah, those factors combined have made this shoe really successful for me. Um, it's my go-to daily trainer at the moment and I honestly can't see any other shoe um, taking that spot at the moment. I probably, once this pair um, wears down, will buy another pair because at 125 pounds, um, I'll put on the screen how much that is per mile but I know it's relatively cheap. For how much use I've got out of it, uh, yeah, it's been exceptional. So one thing I will mention is a lot of people have said that the durability of this shoe is a concern, and I was one of those people as well when I first got this shoe, because um, this area, there's no sort of hard rubber on the bottom. This uh, EVA is quite soft here. You've got two layers. You've got the Profly, which is their responsive um, foam, and then you've got this EVA sort of wedge on the back as well, which I thought was gonna wear down quite easily, um, which it has done, especially in this area on where I land on my uh, forefoot, it's sort of worn down here, you can start to see all these these grooves are sort of gone now. Um, and in this heel area, um, this sort of lateral side of the shoe is start to, to wear as well. But I would expect that for any, sh any shoe really that I've put that amount of mileage in. So yeah, for people that are saying that this shoe is not, um, they worry about the durability, I would say it's actually performed very well in terms of durability, but the only reason why I think people are saying that is because the wear is quite visible um, with the shoe, but it hasn't affected the performance and I expect to get at least another um, 200 miles out of this shoe, if I'm honest, um, and it's still going pretty strong. That pretty much sums up my full review of the Hocker Mac 4 having run 500 miles in the shoe now. Um, yeah, exceptional running shoe from Hocker. I think a lot of shoe companies can look to this shoe at how it's fitted in terms of the comfort, the ride, um, as well as the purpose of the shoe as a daily shoe, as well as being able to do some tempo work. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this um, review of the Hocker Mac 4. Let me know in the comments uh, what has been your favourite uh, daily trainer shoe so far in 2021, and let me know what shoe you'd like me to review next on the channel. I'm always looking to try new shoes. Um, a lot of people have been suggesting the uh, Saucony's uh, Speed or the Pro which I haven't tried yet um, so maybe I'll try that next and yeah that pretty much sums up today's video um, of the Hockermack 4. I hope you've enjoyed it if you have leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more 
uh, running related content. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you again with another one soon. Bye.